Four years ago, Oregon lawmakers started something called motor voter registration to get more people to vote. It's been wildly successful. It made registering to vote easy. In fact, so easy, it happens automatically anytime you go to the DMV for a driver's license, ID, registration, anything. You have to opt out later if you do not want to be registered. Reed College political scientist Paul Gronke is a fan. I am hoping in the long run, as automatic registration moves across the country, that we'll have less polarized political parties because both parties will want to respond to these, these new voters. Over the past four years, the new law has registered a ton of voters in Oregon. In December of 2015, the month before the law took effect, there were 2.1 million voters in the state. Last month, there were 2.9 million. That's a growth of 755,000 voters. Now, some of that, no doubt, is due to new people moving into the state, but a lot of it is from the motor voter registration law. I think anyone uh, who cares about voter um, access and uh, getting a franchise, more people to vote, would say yes. Uh, Oregon's uh, motor voter uh, experiment has been a dramatic success. Len Bergstein is a longtime political strategist and a KGW analyst. When voters are registered at the DMV, they're put into the unaffiliated category, not Democrat, not Republican, not anything else. They can send a card to declare a party, but a lot don't. In December of 2015, there were 527,000 unaffiliated voters in Oregon. Just four years later, with Motor Voter, there are more than 938,000. That's an increase of more than 400,000 voters. It's a voting block so big now that people running campaigns are targeting them. Most uh, uh, Oregon operatives are getting very, very comfortable with this uh, system, and they can seek out those uh, low information voters, non-affiliated voters, and either try and get them into a party registration or, in fact, be able to deal with them through uh, more modern technology. He points to the race for the Oregon House in Hood River. It's District 52. Anna Williams is the Democrat incumbent. Jeff Helfrich is the Republican challenger. In the district, there are 16,000 Democrats, 14,000 Republicans, and 16,000 unaffiliated voters. That block could easily decide the election. Professor Gronke said that is good for everyone because it increases diversity. Those younger folks, uh, houseless folks, uh, newly enfranchised citizens, Latino immigrants, these folks are now part of our system and they're going to be drawn into our system. And so we're going to have a more responsive and representative system because these diverse voices are being heard by politicians. In Northeast Portland, Pat Doris, KGW News.